Good morning, church. It's Pastor Roger. Uh, hope you're having a good week. Uh, I'm glad that you could tune in uh, to have a day, uh, daily devotional uh, with us this morning. Um, I'm excited about church being opened and going to uh, the church house, the campus, and seeing a lot of you guys out there. We pray that uh, you'll sign up and, and continue to come out and uh, we're practicing all the safe precautions and it's good to fellowship with uh, with believers. And uh, so today I'd like to share with you a couple of verses uh, from First uh, John, uh, the Gospel of First uh, John. Um, and it's, uh, the theme is things that we ought to know. Uh, God doesn't want us to be uncertain about things. Uh, there is a lot of uncertainty nowadays. Um, we're facing this uh, pandemic and there's a lot of uh, anxiety with health-wise. Um, we hear about the resurgence in other states. We pray that God will keep us safe. And um, the economy, people losing jobs, and, and we, we're praying for those that are, of you that have lost your jobs. And, and uh, if there's anything that we can do to help, just let us know. We're here to help. Uh, there's a lot of uh, social injustices going on, a lot of protests. And so we need to pray for our nation. We thank God for um, the 4th of July that's coming up. And that's a chance to celebrate independence. Uh, thank God for our nation and uh, for the liberties that we enjoy. And uh, it's going to be a little different, obviously, this year. But we can still uh, thank God for uh, our great nation. Uh, so there's a lot of uncertainty in life. James tells us in uh, 414, Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So life, there's a lot of uncertainties in life. And um, God wants us to know something about his word, how to encourage us, and how to have true faith. Uh, the Bible says that uh, faith is the substance of things not seen or, or things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Through the word of God, by hearing God's word, we build our faith. And God, in 1 John, through the Holy Spirit, the Apostle John wrote some things here in chapter 5 about the certainty that of some things that we ought to know as Christians. First of all, if you have your Bible, you could look with me, 1 John 5, verses 11 on. It says, And this is the record that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So it's good to know that uh, God is very plain here. He's saying that this is the record. This is uh, the authority, God's word. That if you have the Son of God in your heart, you have eternal life. And if you don't, this is an opportunity for you to say a prayer and, and, and open your heart to the Lord. And, re and repent of your sin. And turn to Him. And you'll never regret it. And God will give you certainty. He'll give you confidence as you face these uncertain times. Uh, verse 13, 1 John 5, 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. See, God wants us to know that we have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. So the Bible is written so you and I can have that assurance of salvation. As you and I play, place our trust in Christ, the Messiah, and uh, God says that you have eternal life. Uh, you pass from death unto life. So we don't have to fret, we don't have to fear, we don't have to have that anxiety about what's going to happen tomorrow. We know that tomorrow is in God's hands. And also, if you follow with me, in uh, verse uh, 14, it says, And this is the confidence that we have in, in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He'll hear us. And if 
we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So God's telling us again, we have the assurance that God will hear us if we pray according to his will. So it's good to know that God wants us to be certain about some things and about his accessibility. God is there. He's listening. All you, all you have to do is claim and, and, and ask. And God says that he will respond. So we thank God for the word of God here in uh, 1 John. And um, also in verse uh, 15, it says, And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So we know that if we ask according to his will, God will hear us and he'll answer us. It might not be the way we want it him to answer but it will be answered and we just need to trust God because he promised that these things we can know for sure and we don't have to guess about what's going to happen we are secure in God's hands look with me uh, to verse 18 we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and that wicked one Touches him not. Again, we know that if we're born of God, we will not continue in a practice of sin. Obviously, one of the marks of a Christian is that he'll depart from iniquity. He'll turn from that which is evil. And God says that uh, if you continue in sin, probably you have not met the risen Christ. And you need to repent and you need to turn from your sin. Because the Christian walks according to to the word of God and, 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 and in his steps. And God says that we know these things to be true. Verse 20, And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God in, and eternal life. So again, here says that we know that he has come, the Son of God, and that we may know him, that is true. So the scriptures are given to us so that we may know the truth. Jesus is the truth, right? He is the way, he is the life. And he said that if we come to him, he shall set us free, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So some of the things that, that God tells us about knowing, for instance, uh, life events, uh, in Romans 8, 28, he says that we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the call, according to his purpose. So even in this pandemic and the situation, whatever your situation is, God is in control. Trust him, dear one. Cle cleave to the Lord, and he'll make a way. I like the words of uh, in Jeremiah, what God says in Jeremiah 29, 11, God has given us his promises. He says, I know my thoughts toward you. They're thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So God is telling us that you don't need to live in fear. You don't have to live in anxiety. You could rest in the promises of God. And he's written down some things here that we may know. Paul, in, in 2 Timothy 1.12, he says, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I committed unto him against that day. So Paul knew about the faithfulness of God. He is able, and, and, Paul, and Paul had that reassurance. He, he knew that, that God was going to do this for him. I like, I like the verse that talks about the reality of heaven in 2 Corinthians 5.1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Paul had the assurance that if he were to die, he'd be with the Lord in heaven. Right? Absent from the body, he's present with the Lord, he wrote. And over here, he says that if this earthly house is dissolved, this tabernacle is gone one day. We have a home prepared for us in heaven. We have the confidence we don't have to guess. We don't have to live in, in fear 
of eternity in fear of death because God has given us his word. And he wants us to know these things. And uh, read John, uh, 1 John 5 today and, uh, and meditate on these truths of God about the things that he has given us that we can take to the bank and, and cash in on, on, on these promises of God. He says that um, there, is, there is no death. In 1 John 3, 14, he says, For we know that we have passed from death unto life. Again, he says, we know. I like, I like that word. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abides in death. So one of the signs that we love God is just we love the, 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 the brethren, the brothers and sisters in Christ. And we love you guys. Um, we're praying for you guys. Um, we want to see our whole church united one day soon. Uh, we're slowly opening up. And uh, we want to encourage you, if you have not been out, to come out and, and check it out. And uh, we love God. So we know God's going to protect us. And he'll take care of us. So these things are, are written, uh, brothers, so that we can take courage. And us, us, our faith could be strengthened in the things of the Lord. I'll give you one more, one more verse in 1 John 5, 2. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. So the whole chapter of 5 of uh, 1 John is dealing with things that we know for sure. And we ought to stand on these promises and not be driven by our circumstances. Because our circumstances may change. And they're, and they're all going to change. Everything changes. But God is eternal. Right? And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. And we could rest on God's promises. See, Paul was convinced about his relationship with Jesus. Do you have that assurance? He said, I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I committed unto him against that day. You can have the same assurance by placing your trust in Christ and believing that his death on the cross is sufficient to forgive us, pardon our sins, and cleanse us and give us a new life. So we, we thank God for that, and, and, and we, uh, we rejoice with you guys on this. Let's, let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the assurances, the uh, things that we can know for sure from the word of God, that we have passed from death unto life, and, Lord, that uh, we have the petitions that we desire of you if we ask according to your will. And this is the eternal record, Lord, that, that if we have Christ, we, we have life. And, and the wrath of God will not abide in us. So encourage our brothers, Lord, and uh, we just thank you for these promises. And we praise you. And we love you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. See you Sunday.